Let's talk about Teo Geometric Tactician and Oathbreaker, what kind of a deck he might make and what signature spell might be best for him. Teo costs 3 mana and starts at 3 loyalty. When he enters the battlefield, create a 0-4 white wall creature token with Defender and Flying. Plus 1. You and target opponent each draw a card. Minus 2. Choose left or right. Until your next turn, each player may attack only the nearest opponent in the last chosen direction, and Planeswalkers controlled by that opponent. Now, I've seen a lot of Planeswalkers that make creatures, that's nothing new, but he makes a creature without even activating him. That That is pretty nice. You just get the wall as an ETB. That means we could pick a signature spell that gets double duty off that ETB. Flicker exiles target non-token permanent and returns it to the battlefield under its owner's control. So you get another wall with this, obviously, but it also resets Teo's loyalty and lets you activate it a second time this turn, because the game will see it as a new permanent. Semester's End says, exile any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers you control. At the beginning of the next end step, return each of them to the battlefield under its owner's control. Each of them enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter if it's a creature, and an additional loyalty counter if it's a planeswalker. The upside here is that this one is an instant, and you can target multiple things with it. So it gets better if lots of your creatures have enter the battlefield triggers. The downside is that things come back at end of turn, so you can't do the double activation of Teo with this one. Now, my favorite option for signature spell would be a board wipe, specifically a board wipe that works well with the wall we make. Fell the Mighty for 5 destroys all creatures with power greater than target creature's power. And Sculpted Sunburst for 5. Choose a creature you control, then each opponent chooses a creature they control with equal or lesser power. If you chose a creature this way, exile each creature not chosen by any player this way. And these are even better if you've got like a wall tribal thing going on. I also love Slaughter the Strong, partly because it's only 3 mana. Each player chooses any number of creatures they control, total power 4 or less, then sacrifices all other creatures they control. And Wave of Reckoning for 5. Each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Now, Teo's plus 1 draws you and target opponent a card. We could double down on that with either Your Temple is Under Attack or Secret Rendezvous, both of which pretty much do the same thing. I'm not sure how a deck like this really is going to win. I guess you can use it politically to uh, try to get people to not attack you, or you could do a Kingmaker type of stuff, just allying yourself with one player, giving them lots of resources. And after they've taken out your other opponents, you can somehow beat them, hopefully. If that's the kind of deck you want, then Benevolent Offering might make sense. For four mana, it's an instant. Choose an opponent. You and that player each create three 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Choose an opponent. You gain two life for each creature you control, and that player gains two life for each creature they control. Or we can pick a signature spell that synergizes with the minus two. Remember, Teo controls what direction players can attack. Festival, Peace Talks, and my favorite, Orem's Chant, all make it so the player that can attack you, they still can't attack you. That might not be the most fun game for them, but I think this is a really cool option for an Oathbreaker. Very unique. If you enjoyed this video, I think you might enjoy my Teferi Who Slows the Sunset video. So you can check that out if you'd like. Subscribe for more Oathbreaker content like this, and I will see you in the next one.